How's it going ladies and bros, I'm Bobby Sixkiller and welcome back to the Hex. I know, it has been something like two years since we played this game last, but I was contacted by a new member of the Discord server, uh, by, goes by the name of Weasley, who mentioned a connection between this game and a game called Beneath the Surface, made by a developer called Carla51. So that resulted in hours and hours of forum trolling for about secret endings and all this sort of stuff. So I have come to do the final secret ending. Two years late, I know, but we're doing it nonetheless. And the first thing I discovered was this file called cipher.cipher, which you have to make. You, use it, uh, you can make a notepad or a text file, and you have to copy in these exact things, and then you have to save it as all file type cipher.cipher. And you've got to put that cipher.cipher file in your save data folder in the hex directory. You also need to put the cipher.cipher file in the beneath the surface game directory. And then there's some some places you need to go to find these two parts of an amulet. First one is an end of ale in Chantrell's story. I went here after getting the three orbs. You get onto this pier here and that will put you on a little raft. You will head over the raft to the other side. Okay, now you're on this side, all you need to do is pick up the fishing rod and then you can fish wherever there is one of those little buckets next to that pier over there. So we'll head over to that bucket once we're done talking here and then we'll start fishing until we get half of an amulet. You also need to make sure that you have spots in your inventory otherwise it, you won't fish anything up until there is a spot in your inventory. I had potions coming out my ears. So you gotta make sure that that's nice and empty. And eventually you will get the amulet. The other half of the locket, uh, which can be gotten in Vicious Galaxy 2 when you're playing as Lazarus. Now when you're in Lazarus you want to go into the 2D mode when you're doing this. And you go down this pier and fish here until you get the amulet. Once you've done that, you carry on and you get over to the lava area. Once you're in the lava area, you go down this passage here in your 2D form. Uh, down this passage and then through the end which takes us to a secret area where Wizaro is But only if you've saved him in the wasteland game if you haven't you'll have to go back and do that bit again Then he will tell you everything Lionel wanted the thing hidden in a game uh, made by Carla and Then she blocks him and that game is beneath the surface and with that whole that took, I had to record for four hours to get all that, but once that's done, now we can jump into Beneath the Surface. Alright. Now, if the uh, video has done its job and my editing has been done properly and I've recorded everything correctly, then you should be up to speed on what we're doing here. This is Beneath the Surface. Uh, we're going to be fishing here, hopefully catching some good shit and seeing what we're after. We need to get quite deep, I believe. Um, it's kind of a clicker style game, I guess. It... Oh. I can I upgrade my rod? I want to upgrade my rod. That was loud. So this is what we're doing today. We are fishing through an ice hole. I may speed it up if need be. But basically all we want to do is catch stuff and then go a little bit lower and then a little bit lower and a little bit lower and a little bit lower Fish Arctic salmon it could go to Japan and back very nice So we can go deeper again then Let's go deeper Let's keep going deeper. That's that's gonna be the goal Uh, future me, put my face in that corner. That... The other corner. 
Because everything's happening over here. Go work me, if you did it. Otherwise, why didn't you do it, you stupid bastard? Right. Upgrade line length. Real speed, that'll do. Yeah, that's nice and fast. That'll save us a bit of time. 20 meters, looking good. Go, go, go! Damn, we can reel it in fast now. Sea sponge. <laughs> well, that wasn't worth shit at all. Let's upgrade our hook. <laughs> I feel like I might need to drop some music in the background of this because it's got no, it's got no music. Like the uh, the whole blizzard sounds very atmospheric and and such, but uh, oh, I don't know. Never mind. The game knew that I was going to start feeling oppressed by the lack of music. It says zero out of thirty fish found. I found one fish. Thank you. Not zero. One. This could take a while. I wonder what else we can find down here. We're getting 25 meters. This is actually really well made. I don't, I'm not surprised though, to be honest. Ever pregnant guppy. That seems unethical. Yeah, it's not worth very much. Oh, okay, it's gonna just hang out there. That's cool. I knew this was gonna get weird. Oh, oh each one's worth a. So it's actually like a clicker game. So each one pops out a baby. It keeps popping out babies and making us money over time. That's awesome! Still really weird and unethical though, yeah. Anyway, so as you know, we are, we are looking for the secret ending to the hex, which is here, but I hear it's somewhere around the 250 meter mark. So it's pretty deep. We could be at this for a while. I will skip ahead, obviously. Um, as we get to grips with the game and stuff and, you know, we kind of know what we're dealing with here. <laughs> I will skip ahead, because it could take us a while. could take us a while. I am determined to find the ending though. I, I had to play the hex, I had to replay the hex twice more to get all the footage I needed. Um, to get this, this whole, uh, secret ending ready. You know? I, I'm dying to find out too. I am dying to find it. I cannot wait. This game's cute, man. <laughs> I can see myself just playing this anyway. Another one. So they just make us money over time. That's lovely. Not a lot of money, but easy money. Recurring money. Another one. It's gonna be a while before we can afford any more upgrades, though. Oh. The moon's going down for the night. What do we got? Another one! Bloody hell! <laughs> How much are their babies worth? Like two bucks? Three bucks. Two bucks. About two bucks each, by the look of it. We want more depth. More depth. Thirty-five meters. I'm so excited to find the secret ending. I can't believe it's taken me what two years to get this far, but hey, it's the steamboat guy from from the fishing place. Crazy. He's the guy from the first fishing place in uh, Chantrell's world. That's awesome. So there's going to be a few references to the game in here. Arctic Carp. Carp DM. We're going to have to increase our line speed again. It's taking a while to get down there. Yeah, I apologise that it's taking me near enough well, near enough two years, let's say two years, to find the proper ending to this game. And I would never have done it without the help of uh, those forums and all the information. There were so many people following, um, so many people working together to try and find out the solution to the secret of the game. Without them I never would have, never would have been able to find it. What a great collaboration it looked like they were 
so many people contributing. That's how we got the uh, code that we need to actually find the end. You know. Also, I I, I think I'll try and uh, put a link in the description for you to if you want the config.config .config file. Oh, the uh, geez, what is it? The cipher.cipher .cipher file. Um, I'll put that. I'll try and put a link in the description for that so that you can anchovy. Nice from a faraway land. I'll put a link in the description so you can just download it and put it in your game. You can put it into your save file in the hex to um, decode the locket, and you can put it into the save file in this game to decode the locket when you find it. That's all we're looking for, by the way. A locket. The same locket, I assume. Golden Guppy. Hard to say no to that. I mean, I did discover that you can just type in a thing and get the ending. The proper ending here without doing all the other rigmarole. But I wanted to do it properly. I wanted to go through all the secret stuff that I've missed and see it all for myself. You know? I don't want to just do the ending, I want to earn it, you know? <laughs> At least as much as I can now. Yeah, we're gonna need some line speed, man. That'll be the next thing. It's too slow. It's taking too long to get down there. That golden guppy's pretty good. I need more of those. Let's hit up the hook. Maybe we'll catch better stuff. Still says zero out of thirty fish found. Why? Hmm? Or are they like the ultimate fish that we're after? Who knows? The game didn't really have much lead in, it was just start fishing, homie. <laughs> so I did. So it takes a bit more effort than the usual clicker. Is you gotta like send the line down and reel it back up and all of that. Going to 60 meters now, I assume. We're getting down there. Nice. Keep that money coming in. I like the popping sound it makes. I think that makes me a horrible person. Excellent. <laughs> I always knew. Back in. Down to 65 meters. But yeah, like I said, I think I think we need to be down to like 250 meters, which is a, is a long way to go. Still, <laughs> all things considered, you know. Deeper. I think we've settled into the sort of groove that we're going to have in this game for for uh, quite a while. It's just going to be more of this. Um, maybe I'll skip ahead, say, 10 minutes. We might have some new different stuff um, by then. Some new fish coming up that we haven't had before. Uh, because we're getting so much deeper and all that. Maybe get a better hook. So yeah, I'll bring you back around then. Alright, well, it seems like a good time to check in. Uh, it hasn't actually been that long, only like two or three minutes maybe, but we're at 100 meters depth now, so... And you can see the golden guppies spewing out babies everywhere. We are making some money now. But yeah, we're at 100 meter depth. Seems like a good time to check in. Deep sea jelly. You deep sea jelly? That's pretty clever. <laughs> It's taking a while to get down to 100 meters though, we're gonna have to do line speed again, but we're generating money pretty constantly now, pretty quickly. Can't complain, can't complain. And we reel in fast. 
Here's some deep sea jelly. Okay. God. But yeah, we've been picking up a few random items. A few new things. We had a rubber duck. Hopefully that'll come up. We got we had a walrus. Hopefully that'll come up, so. Cassette. You must be getting sick of the old one. Yeah, man. Yeah, new song. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Good timing, actually. Man, here's... Even with a... F this is a free game. If you go and play it. Like, if you've played the Hex, go and play it. It's... This is really fun, actually. I was gonna say, Daniel Mullins is such an amazing game designer. It is unbelievable how much fun. How perfectly programmed it is. How that even something, like, some free game that's a tie-in to another game. It's laid out so perfectly that just as just as you're getting sick of pulling up the same thing or the, the song on the or just as you're thinking oh it's a bit weird without music in the background boom you get a radio just as you get sick of the song on the radio boom here's a cassette for another thing on the radio it's always moving it's always gets to that point where you're like oh, I'm kind of getting sick of this and then all of a sudden boom he changes it up it's brilliant strange device is this part of a machine okay you know, it is fantastic. That speaks, that's such incredible game design. The moment you start feeling yourself going, oh, maybe I'm starting to get bored. Boom, something changes and, and it's interesting again. It's fantastic. He really is a genius, man. Really is. Easily my favorite indie developer of all time. Easily. And there are some great ones. There are some... Plenty of other great indie developers that I really, really love, but... Daniel Mullins takes the cake, man. I think it might be about time for us to, uh... Take another quick break. Lead me to my fishing. Well, we're at 120 meters now. We are getting... Getting down there. We are getting down there. I don't know what this does. It doesn't seem to do anything at the moment. It's only part of a machine, though. I'm sure we'll find other parts. Oh, okay. Maybe we won't take a break. It seems like we're getting all the parts together now. It's the kind of game I'm scared to go away from just in case something interesting happens, you know? But then I have to keep talking the whole time to make, to make sure it's entertaining when not new things are happening. For you guys, you know? Because you, you don't have the pleasure of, of playing it, you just have to listen to me play it. Unless you're playing along. Which if you are... I like it. I like it. I want the other device parts. Give me another device part. That'd be awesome. Oh, I didn't read that one. Damn it, that was a new thing. I thought it was a jellyfish, but it wasn't. God damn it. Next time we pull one of those up, we'll have a read of it. Let's see, what do we got? Is this it? Yeah! Vampiratuthus. Legion say it comes from hell. Ooh, nice. I do love things that come from hell. Oh, I got a bit carried away there, trying to reel it in before anyone was ready, you know? Couldn't help myself. Just got a little bit too anxious. Going deeper. We need more of these golden guppies, man. They're just bringing in that money all the time. Looks like it's gonna consistently be a five meter upgrade. The upgrade's never gonna get bigger. But then, you know, that seems like the perfect time to change it. Hatchery tank. This device seems to be a hatchery. Was it gonna generate fish as well, is it? What is it doing? It makes golden guppies. Are you serious? That's awesome. It makes more golden guppies. Dude, I need more of those. Oh, it makes all kinds of stuff. Well, it makes both flavors of guppy things so far. 
What else can I make? Who knows? How many nights have we been sitting here? You see the moon flying by pretty quickly. It's like, bye bye moon. Another day over with. Strange hat. It's, what's his, it's Wizaro's hat. From the Hex. Oh my god, I'm wearing it? Am I Wizaro? Wizaro's the one who can um, translate the amulet as well. And that's what we're searching for, right? That's crazy. That is crazy. Oh, this hatchery is going to be huge. It is going to be huge. Dude, we are the Fisher Kings. Kind of like the movie Fisher King, but with a way happier aesthetic. <laughs> but it could have been uh, directed by Terry Gilliam. <laughs> you could definitely mistake it for something directed by Terry Gilliam. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> What do we got? What do we got? Vampire thing again. There's our line length again. Out comes another guppy. Jeez, there's a lot of them down there now. We are harvesting a lot of babies. What is it with clicker games and making you be a horrible, horrible person? Like OG cookie clicker, you know? Taking over the world with cookies or whatever. You can't stop me. I'm the fishing monster! <laughs> oh, a gold one again. Lovely. That's what I like to see. What is it? 555 five, five for the next upgrade. What do we got? What do we got? Go. Dude, we're making money hand over fist. This is the way to get rich. This is how you do it. And probably deplete the, uh,. The population of the fish, but well, maybe not so much if we got a hatchery doing it. It's very dystopian for the fish, though I imagine. Very dystopian indeed. How far are we? 165 meters. Damn, that is getting deep. That is getting deep. More eel. That's some more. Eh? <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> the writing is clever, man. Love it. There's some more line length. It takes us to 170 meters. Lovely. Can't even get to the freaking uh, radio anymore. Not that I'd turn the music off, because it'd be horrible just listening to that uh, blizzard and nothing else. I think we're ready for a new cassette, actually. Can we get another cassette up in here? I think it's about time. Definitely think it's about time for another cassette. Come on. That's another moray. That is another moray indeed. Why isn't the fish counter going up? Why does it say 0 out of 30 fish found? I found many fish now. There must be at least 30 fish on the ground there. <laughs> oh, you mean unique kinds of fish? Still. Done a few. Lantern fish. Need a light. Cool. We're nearly down to 200 meters. That is lovely. We're getting there so fast. Man, he reels fast. Holy crap. Look at his hand. It's like lightning. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> 
Don't do hand gestures. <laughs> um, anyway. 180 meters. Next upgrade costs 645 dollar redos. That's another Latin fish. Oh, they're worth a lot of money. It's getting crowded down here. <laughs> Take that extra five meters right away. Another lanternfish. Well, they're worth like 300 bucks right off the bat. That's crazy. That's crazy. It takes so long to get our line down there now. So long. By the time we get the line down and back up again, we're ready for another upgrade. And then some. It's really the going down that takes ages. <laughs> so fast going back up. More of you. Might be time to upgrade our hook. Now I hear if we go too deep the game will crash. So I'm a bit weary of that one. Because I don't want it to corrupt my video and that... For me, for some reason, I don't know if this happens to all other YouTubers or whatever, but... For some reason for me, every time I get a game crash, it corrupts the video I'm working on. The whole thing and I'm never able to rec recover it. It sucks. Because I basically got to start... I'd have to start this all over again. And pretend that I haven't. You know? Basically. We're at 200 meters. Because I want to be surprised by all the new things, you know what I mean? I want to be surprised. Ice cube. What? Oh my god, it's us. How meta. How very meta. We're ready for the advanced hook type now. Pretty much. Maybe we should prioritize the advanced hook. Man? Things are getting strange down there. Alright, we're getting... Oh, it's maxed out. Okay, there you go. Oh, we're going to the pro. So we're on the pro hook type. I want to make sure we're getting the best stuff we could possibly get. Is that going to give us something new all of a sudden? Who knows? Another one of those things. That's fine. That's fine and dandy. Another 5 meters. Now 210 I believe. God damn it takes ages to get down there. We get a bite the second we get down there. Another one of those. 215 meters. Realistically, I could just walk away and have a nap and that would make us a bunch of money. But that's no fun. I still need a new, uh, a new tape for the radio though. I'm over this one. Nine meters per second. That seems incredibly fast. Don't you think? We're getting down. We we're going for 250 meters or so. We're near that level now. We're getting very near that level. So it's 220. What do we got? Another one of those. Let's keep going down. Oh, the music stopped. Oh, yeah, it's back. 225. 
my god, there's so many of these guppies, I'm worried that they're gonna raise up and take over the world. They can spawn a lot of minions real fast. There it is! Old locket. And because we've put in the cipher into the uh, game files, it says type Lionel.exe, which is exactly what we're gonna do right now. Oh my god, what is happening? Alright, here we go, here we go. This is Lionel Snow. I'm recording this because I've... This is crazy, right? Speaking to a video game character? Come on. They're alive, well, come on. Here it goes anyways. I've seen some things lately that made me think. What if the characters that I've created live somehow? Like, in some way, they know who I am. Oh, they know. It's probably nonsense. Just some trolls on the GameWorks forums getting the better of me. Is that it? But in the case that the stories they tell are true, and in the really unlikely case, I think I would owe one of my characters an apology. The root beer man? Whose name I've forgotten, unfortunately? God damn it. This would be much more effective if I remembered his name. No one else knows this, but Super Weasel Kid was not my first game. I actually made this really janky root beer game when I was even younger. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. No. Don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Yep. I knew you were gonna say thank you, uh, apologize to the root beer, man. The only thing I liked about it was the main character, Root Beer Reggie. I made him look like a younger version of my grandpa. Then, after my grandpa passed, I still had Reggie. I don't know what I was thinking, but when Super Weasel Kid was almost done, I figured that I'd ought to delete the old root beer game. I guess I thought it looked better if my very first game was something great. Like I was some kind of prodigy. Irving handled deleting the files. I couldn't Irving. bear doing it myself. Eh. He told me that Reggie would be exported to a different game, but I never saw him again. Oh, we've seen him. Oh my god, it's the Rupee game. Well, if you're out there somewhere, Reggie, I still miss you. And I'm sorry. Okay. Sado. And that's it. That's the game. <laughs> All right. Well, we did it. Two years late, but we did it. We found the ending to the hex. And also beneath the surface, which is a lot of fun and free to play. So, uh, link in the description. Even if you haven't got the hex, you can still play beneath the surface. And you can still type Lionel.exe and get the secret ending to the hex, even if you haven't got the hex. But yeah, um, I will try and make an effort to put a link in the description for the file, if I can find a place to host it. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.